So we continue to look here in the word of God. The Bible tells us right here in Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 13, it says on the list of the discerning wisdom is found. And so, you know, as we begin to think about that, you know, we, we have wisdom uh, through the word of God. We have wisdom through our relationship with God. And what we need to do, we need to walk in that wisdom. So as we walk in that wisdom, you know, even the things that we say on the lips of the discerning, wisdom is found. And so I've talked about that a little bit this week already, but how do we get that wisdom? How do we grow in that wisdom? Verse 14 tells us, it says, uh, wise men store up knowledge. Wise men store up knowledge. You ever seen people collect things? You know, some people collect the craziest things. Some people collect spoons. Some people collect uh, ceramic dolls. Some people collect ducks. I mean, they collect all kinds of different things. Some people collect coins. Some people collect cars. They collect a whole bunch of different things. But you know what we as men and women of God need to do? We need to collect wisdom. You know, as we collect wisdom, you know, think about a coin collector, for for instance, a coin collector, he's going out there, well, he, he is searching out the internet, he's going out there looking at the coin stores, he's going out there maybe to some markets and some, uh, you know, some uh, flea markets and things like that. He is looking for that next great coin that he could add to his collection and they don't just come to him, they don't just fall down in his lap and all of a sudden he wakes up one day and there by his nightstand, oh, looky here, there's, there's a coin here. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't matter what you collect. It doesn't work like that. You intentionally need to go out there and you need to find that. But we as children of God, you know what we need to do? We need to be collectors of wisdom. And so as I've said many, many times, the only way that you're going to have godly wisdom is by knowing Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. But by as being a collector of wisdom, what we need to do is we need to go to that location where we know that wisdom is going to be found. And so if we go to that location to where we know that wisdom is going to be found, where is that? It's the Word of God. We need to open up the Word of God. We need to study the Word of God. We need to read the Word of God. We need to memorize the Word of God. We need to hide God's Word in our heart that we might not sin against Him. And so as we open Open up the Word of God. We read the Word of God. We study the Word of God. We also go to Bible study. Listen, let me tell you something. Sunday school is not just for children. Sunday school is for every age. It doesn't matter if you're 110 years old. If you're physically able to go, you need to be going and you need to be participating. You need to be taught the Word of God, so you need to participate in Bible study. You need to go and seek out the wisdom of the preaching and teaching of the Word of God. Now, if your pastor is not preaching the Word of God, then you need to go find a pastor that is preaching the Word of God, and because that's what we're supposed to do. Paul told Timothy, he said, preach the Word in season and out of season. He didn't say, come up here and tell stories of your golf game and tell stories of your fishing trip and tell stories of all kinds of other things. Nothing wrong with having illustrations, but it needs to point us to the Word of God, and they need to be teaching and preaching the Word of God so that when we come, hey, we're, coll we're here, we're collecting wisdom. We want to gain wisdom to where I can have discernment through the wisdom of God. So I read the Word of God on my own. I seek out, search out teachers and preachers of the Word of God that it can, it, it can be implanted in me and I could grow in that and be a collector of wisdom, not just for the purpose of having it in me, but for the purpose of me being able to walk in it again, as verse 11 tells us, or well, verse 11 and verse uh, 13 tells us, verse 11 says, the mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life. How are we going to know how to speak those words of life unless we have the wisdom of God within us? But then verse 13 on the lips of the discerning wisdom is found. How are you going to have discerning lips unless the wisdom was, is within you? Jesus said what's in a man's heart will come out of his mouth. 
What's coming out of your mouth today? Is it the wisdom of the word of God? Or just anything and everything of the world? Repent of all that junk. It's just going to bring you down and destroy you. Be a collector of wisdom.